Hi, I'm Pam Valentine. I'm a BUSD parent of two girls. Um, and I'm here to support Ms. Valarca and to support my daughter in getting back the education that she deserves. I'm going to share with you the letter I sent to the school board members. I'm writing to express my sadness and sense of loss regarding the suspension of Ms. Valarca. I first met Ms. Valarca while working as a writing coach in her class last year. I was struck by the tenderness with, with which she dealt with her ELD students and with the patience she exhibited in working with a wide range of students in terms of language, cultures, age, and their fluency in English. I remember thinking what a lovely introduction to, American, to the American education system these kids were receiving. Having witnessed the way she, Ms. Falarka taught her students last year, I was delighted this fall when I found out my seventh grade daughter had been assigned to her class for English and History. My daughter shared my enthusiasm, and during the first few weeks of school, spoke often not just of what she had learned in Ms. Falarka's class, but also what patience Ms. Falarka had in dealing with students. At back to school night, I was absolutely floored by the presentation Ms. Falarka gave to the parents. Having attended these nights every year for my two daughters, the oldest one is now in high school, I can say without hesitation that what she had to say was by far the most inspirational of anything I'd heard from any BUSD teacher. Her commitment to social justice, her goals of teaching kids to understand and respect their differences with their classmates, and her compassion in interacting with different groups was truly awe-inspiring. I remember thinking how lucky my daughter, as an adolescent girl of color, was, and how much she could learn from this woman and look to her as a role model. So it's with a heavy heart that I now wrote this letter, knowing that Ms. Falark has been suspended, hearing daily from my daughter how discouraged she feels by what's going on in her English and history class now that they're being taught by a substitute. Listening to my daughter, one who's always looked with excitement to her time in the classroom, say that the worst part of her day is going to school because we don't do anything, has inspired me to write. It's maddening to me that my child is not getting the education she deserves, and it's maddening that this is happening because the district is punishing her very capable teacher because of her social activism that was done on her own time outside of school. Thank you. I implore you to bring her back. The kids need and have a right to their education, and your decision has deprived them of that opportunity. Thank you. Thank you.